Okay, rest of my daisy, Shane Bruce back again with the review of another gun. This is the sixth gun in the box. This is a Model 75 Daisy Scout. Now, a lot of you guys wonder, what do I do with these old BB guns when I get them? Well, this is what I do to guns like this. I take an old Daisy that's spotty, I restock it, I work the internals, I redo the surface, all the metal work, and they turn into resto mods. So this gun is going to look somewhat like this gun. Yeah, it may be a bit different. I don't really ever build the same thing twice. But back to the one that we've got. It's a Daisy 75 Scout. It does have the Scout buttstock, which is unusual. The Scout buttstock is marginally waffled, waffled but not too bad. It has a rear sight that's adjustable for elevation, but not for windage. Uh, it has a bottle cap, but it's got the annoying bottle cap with the lead the load port is located on top of the gun which basically means that anytime you try to load this gun you're going to drop half of whatever it was you were trying to get in there on the ground daisy engineers were clever devils this is also a plymouth michigan gun so it's older it's got what appear to be the original screws in two parts somebody has tacked additional screws in to support the already broken top of the plastic stock happens all the time that's not factory now this is a high pivot gun with the three star lever, it's metal, it does not have a trigger return spring. Let's see if the, the piston's working. Now here's a trick you can do. If you don't have a trigger return spring, pull the trigger down, let gravity hold it in position. Alright, that didn't work. So we're going to do this instead, we're going to, well I say that, pull that down, pull the trigger down to engage the sear and see if it works. Oh, that one has fair compression. This will probably shoot. Missing the forearm. Overall, not in bad shape. Well worth what I paid for it. And when I get done reforming it, restoring it, and modifying it, it'll be worth even more. All right, on to the last gun.